Good evening, everyone. This is John Abraham with a breaking news update. Today, a powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.4 has struck central Japan, triggering a major tsunami warning. The situation is rapidly unfolding, so let's dive into the details. Our story begins off the west coast of Japan's main island, Honshu, in the Noto region. At 4.06 p.m. local time, a 5.7 magnitude earthquake hit, followed by a staggering 7.6 magnitude quake just four minutes later. The tremors continued, with subsequent quakes ranging from 4.5 to 4.8 magnitudes. The Japan Meteorological Agency wasted no time in issuing tsunami warnings, particularly for Ishikawa Prefecture's Wajima port. Within an hour, the first tsunami waves, measuring around four feet high, struck the port. NHK, Japan's national broadcaster, urgently called on residents to leave everything behind and move swiftly to higher ground. The earthquake, registering a seven on the Japanese scale, is the strongest level. It has not only caused significant damage, with buildings collapsing in Ishikawa, but has also disrupted power. Reports from Hakuriku Electric Power indicate that over 36,000 households have lost electricity in Ishikawa and Toyama prefectures. Concerns were immediately raised about the safety of nuclear plants in the region. However, power companies reported no immediate problems, and government spokesperson Hayashi Yoshimasa confirmed the absence of abnormalities at the Shika nuclear power plant in Ishikawa. The initial quake was followed by strong aftershocks, with a 6.2 magnitude aftershock reported at 4.18 p.m. local time. While the extent of damage is still being assessed, the impact reached as far as Tokyo, with buildings shaking in the capital. The first tsunami waves, some exceeding a meter in height, hit central Japan's north coast. Wajima Port in Ishikawa Prefecture experienced waves as high as 1.2 meters at 4.21 p.m. local time. The Japan Meteorological Agency issued warnings of tsunami as high as 16 feet in Ishikawa. As the situation unfolds, residents are being urged to evacuate coastal areas, major highways near the epicenter are closed, and the tsunami is expected to reach coastal regions from Hokkaido to Nagasaki. Now. Let's focus on the specific impact on the Noto Peninsula, where a rare major tsunami warning has been issued. The alert, equivalent to the one issued after the devastating 2011 Tohoku earthquake, urges residents to evacuate immediately to higher ground. Nuclear plant operator TEPCO is actively checking for any impact on its facilities in the region. As of now, no irregularities have been reported at the nuclear power plant in Kashiwazaki, Nagata Prefecture. We have first-hand accounts coming in. Jordan Allen, a news editor at the Japan Times, experienced the earthquake in eastern Toyama Prefecture. He describes the situation as unprecedented, with some items falling and breaking in his home. The chief cabinet secretary, Hayashi, has called on people to evacuate to safe places. The gravity of the situation is underlined by the major tsunami warning issued, similar to the one in 2011. In conclusion, Japan is facing a critical situation with a powerful earthquake and the looming threat of a significant tsunami. Our thoughts are with the residents as they navigate these challenging times. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. This is John Abraham, signing off.